When children come to kindergarten, they're all acting, singing, dancing, and painting. And every parent says, oh, my child just loves art. And when you start that from a very, very young age, then it becomes the natural mode and the natural way of learning. So why would you sit them down when they get onto seventh grade and say, stop using those languages you've developed and be quiet and sit still and listen and we'll teach you something. Arts here did help me with the other side, not this shy person, but the outspoken person and it helps with speech and a lot of different shows too. We've seen many kids blossom when they get into this environment. I've just excelled in my learning since day one. It gives them a sense of pride and a sense of place and a sense of value. It's really helped me a lot, like become more bold as a person, I guess. We don't integrate everything. Uh, where it doesn't make sense, we don't do it. But there's enough of it that there's change and an opportunity for problem solving and creativity that keeps them stimulated. They're not just taking in an adult point of view. They get to solve the problems themselves and then express them using something other than just a pencil or a computer. Having an art class kind of lets you develop a little bit more and it seems intimidating at first, but if it's something that you do like twice a week or once a week, then it doesn't seem like it's some hard thing that nobody can achieve. We also are highly connected to our community in that we bring in guest artists and we want to expose the students to the ways that artists work. A special guest came in today to uh, talk to us about improvising and music. Well, art is an essential class uh, because self-expression is essential, and especially to kids who are learning these new social circles and learning how to navigate uh, the world of friends and bad influences sometimes and good influences. One of my jobs is to help create what we call a living textbook production, which is um, a production where a lot of different topics are incorporated into a final show of some kind that we share with parents. So I'm going to write a piece that the sixth graders will dance to. Um, and their dance will be them acting out states of matter. So acting out change in matter, adding energy, taking away energy. As the students are doing this, first of all, they're beginning to put together and connect these ideas. Secondly, we're working on it for a presentation. So they are understanding that they have to make it clear enough that they can convey this information to an audience. People who are really good at math, they play with it. They love it, it's fun. And we're trying to figure out how to bridge that gap with our kids. We want them to love math. We want them to think it's fun. All of the same steps that are used in creative processes of any sort are the same processes that students need in the writing process, the scientific process. It's coming up with ideas, organizing those ideas in a meaningful way, refining those ideas through rehearsal, and then be able to uh, publish, present, or perform those ideas. We want just as much to inspire kids to love and appreciate and participate in the arts if they don't go into the arts as a profession. But that's the audience. And that's also how we express our humanity. It's how we express our current culture. Having arts classes here has kind of like opened up more possibilities for me to do stuff outside of school. Um, so it feels like it kind of exposes a lot more stuff that I wouldn't see. I mean, arts based here has gotten me really involved in stuff. I think that they have improved my life. And I'm gonna be going back to my third grade teachers and, th and saying, Thank you so much for teaching me this.